Hey space fans! Today we are chatting with NASA scientist Heidi Hamill about the interstellar comet Borisov, an object that made an exciting appearance after flying in from outside of the solar system. So Heidi, could you tell me a little bit more about this object and how we spotted it? This object, 2i Borisov, was discovered in late August of this year by an amateur astronomer, Gennady Borisov, with his own telescope, a homemade telescope. And this object um, was a fuzzy dot in the sky, and that indicates that it's comet. Um, he sent his observations to the Minor Planet Center. Many other people observed it, and we determined that this object had an orbit that was not circular or oval around our sun. In fact, this comet was not bound to our sun. It was coming in from interstellar space, making a close pass to the sun, and then moving on its way out to interstellar space again. Um, so I've seen this incredible new image that Hubble took of Borisov. Um, could you tell me a little bit more about this image and what makes it so special? What makes images from the Hubble Space Telescope so important is they have very high spatial resolution, so we can see fine details. And what we were able to learn from the Hubble images is that the nucleus or core or center of this object is much smaller than we had thought it was. Now, I don't mean to say that it's small, it's big. Um, it's about as big as nine football fields placed end to end. Um, but uh, that's smaller than we thought it would be. So that's surprising to us. Wow, that's pretty big for smaller than we thought it would be. Is this an average size for, for something like this? Well, we've only ever seen one interstellar comet, and this is it. So it's hard to just figure out what's average. It's perfectly average, so far as we know, having seen only one. <laughs> Definitely. Um, so we know that Borisov didn't come from our solar system. What do we know about where it came from or where it might be going? We actually don't have any information about where it may have come from. Um, we have a pretty good idea where it's going based on its orbit right now because we're continuing to track it on its way out. But um, we think it's just going to move back out into interstellar space and float between stars. That's what interstellar means. So it's leaving our star system with our sun and moving on to some other place. So it's really kind of cool that we were here at a time to be able to capture it with Hubble and many of our other ground-based telescopes. Absolutely. Um, so is this the type of object that people on Earth uh, could see for themselves through telescopes? This object, uh, 2i Borisov, uh, this comet, is actually very faint. If you go outside and try to look for it with just your eyes, you will not be able to see it. Um, you, you can uh, get a star map, and if you or your friend or someone you know has a large telescope, uh, you might be able to see it with the large telescope. Um, barring that, you can go online and look for Hubble images or images from other telescopes. Um, to find this I Hubble image and other Hubble images, you can go to nasa.gov Hubble, or you could follow Hubble on social media, at NASA Hubble and you'll be able to see Hubble images that way. Any new images, too, that Hubble takes, we will be sure to put online for everyone to see and enjoy. Great. Um, well, thank you again so much, Heidi. I just have one more question for you. Um, I'm curious, you know, in talking about strange objects that are like nothing we've ever seen, how does Borisov compare to Oumuamua? Oh, that's an interesting question. Um, for those who don't know, Oumuamua was another interstellar visitor discovered uh, last year, um, and we think that was an asteroid, a ball of, of a rock, uh, not even a ball, kind of a cigar-shaped object. Um, Oumuamua did not uh, seem to have a lot of ice um, to make a comet or a, a coma or a tail. So these seem to be very different kinds of interstellar visitors. Definitely. Well, that's fascinating. Uh, thank you again so much, Heidi. Um, to anyone watching, definitely follow Hubble and follow space.com to keep up with everything Borisov and everything Hubble. Thank you. It's a pleasure to talk with you.